Hello everyone. And welcome back to my channel. I am Mr. Robot. And in this video I will explain to you what RPA is, and what is RPA used for. Stylish re-entrance. Right? RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. And it first appeared as a concept somewhere in 2003, when companies such as Blue Prism, UiPath and Automation Anywhere launched automation libraries, almost at the same time. The concept was so successful, that other big players such as, IBM or Microsoft, decided to enter the market. So, what is all the fuss all about? To begin with, you need to understand that although, we use the word robotic, we are not talking about some, weird, Star Wars looking like fictional robot. My. Hello there Pinky. Are you, my daddy? No. I always use firewalls. Ask for 3PO. He might know a bit more. Now, where were we? RPA is actually a software, which enables users to create developments fast, by using a friendly, drag and drop, interface. Together with some Excel-like formulas, basic programming principles and some occasional traditional coding. RPA is able to deliver fast and robust automations for those processes typically waiting with IT for years. It is not focused on enterprise solutions, but rather on simple processes such as moving data from one system to another, collecting information and creating reports. I am talking about all those rule-based, repetitive processes for which it was cheaper or faster to hire a human to do it rather than asking IT for a solution. The cool thing about RPA is that it can enable more technical employees to become developers in a relative short period of time. Allowing IT to focus on strategic developments and rest of the employees on value-adding, sophisticated tasks. So, we can say that RPA is fast to deploy, easy to scale, robust. If programmed right, it will make no mistakes and productive. A robot will work 24-7 and a lot faster than any human. But, also pay attention. Robotics is not a solution for everything. You will most likely be able to automate only 5-20% to of your typical back office operations. Also, it is not extremely simple. It needs skilled resources, a governance model and specific infrastructure. The robot will perform only rule-based tasks. It can't be creative or learn over time, unless updated by humans. It is also limited to electronic inputs and has the same availability, as the systems that he is interacting with. I hope you found my presentation entertaining. If so, reward this video with a like and subscribe for the exciting things to come. Goodbye for now, and stay healthy.